Um, remember that restraint builds drive through frustration. One of the things about walking puppies on harnesses, which we're doing, means I have to pay special attention to the environment, right? So this is one of the things that's new and a new problem due to the reward-based revolution. Like, so in the old days, one, people didn't take their puppies all over the place like we do now, right? People got a puppy, the puppy stayed at home, stayed in the backyard, the dog was old enough to start walking on a leash or go to training class, then they start going out. But people weren't carting their puppies all over public, people weren't sitting at the coffee shop with their, with their puppies, none of that stuff, right? And so there was a whole different kind of training paradigm. Now, we recognize the value of early experience and early socialization. So we're taking our puppies all over the place, right? And so they have no training, they're too young to be polite on a regular leash, so we're walking them around on harnesses, right? But a harness creates frustration, so I have to pay very close attention to what my puppy's paying attention to. If I sit here with my puppy on a harness and let it watch somebody at the park play with their dog, your dog gets increasingly stimulated and frustrated, and then it wants to go over there and bite that other dog. Not necessarily because it's a dog aggressive, but because it got so frustrated and stimulated that when it, gets, it starts barking, it starts lunging, it wants to go grab stuff. If my dog sees something it wants and I'm pulling it away from it slowly on a harness, those are all techniques we do to build motivation. And so I have to be very careful when I'm walking my puppy on harnesses to pay attention to what they're paying attention to. Don't let them sit there on the harness and stare at stuff that can get them stimulated because bad behavior will come. So I'm constantly redirecting my puppy preemptively when I'm using a harness. Don't wait until they're out at the end and already fired up because then you're not going to be able to redirect them. The puppies go off a cliff. There's a tipping point. Like if I catch you early, I can redirect you. If I wait until you get all worked up, now you won't redirect. You want that thing so bad, then I'm going, look, I've got food. They're like, yeah, forget that. I want to chase that thing or whatever it's going to be. So it's easier to interrupt behavior before the dog gets ramped up. With harnesses, this is more important, so careful about that. So be careful about letting your dog watch stuff that's stimulating potentially or exciting. Be careful about dragging your dog away from things that they want on a harness. That's all making increased motivation for those things, right? Which is good if it's something I want them to be excited about and bad if it's not, right? Frustration is the double-edged sword of dog training, right? Frustration creates a lot of bad behavior. Barking, leash reactivity, Aggression in certain cases, destructive behavior, all can be a result of frustration. But also motivation can be improved through frustration. You want that really bad, don't you? You want that really bad, don't you? Go get it, bam. And so we can increase motivation, but you have to be careful. We post our social media videos to our website, Learberg.com, a week or two before we post them to our YouTube channel. These early release videos can be found on the front page of our site or by going to the site and selecting video on demand from the toolbar and then select free videos. Thank you for watching. <laughs>